still pretty overwhelming because all of us feared the worst. New York State Governor Kathy Hochul was emotional when she addressed the media after investigators found nine-year-old Charlotte Senna. It was every parent's worst nightmare. According to police, Charlotte went for a bike ride around a loop with friends at approximately 6.15 Saturday night, but she did one last loop alone, and when she didn't return, her parents began looking for her around 6.30 p.m. By 6.45 that night, searchers found her bike on the trail and called 911. New York State Police were on the scene by 7 p.m. They issued an Amber Alert shortly after 9.30 Sunday morning. It was early Monday morning when investigators got a lead. Hochul says it's what eventually led authorities to Craig Nelson Ross Jr. Assuming they were not home, 4.20 in the morning, opens the mailbox and inserts the ransom note, leaving a critical piece of evidence behind his own fingerprint. Around 2.30 Monday afternoon, Hochul said investigators were able to match a fingerprint from the note to the suspect, whose prints were in the state's database. Authorities say he was found in a camper behind his mother's residence in Milton, New York. Hochul said it was there that police found the little girl hidden in a cabinet cupboard. She knew she was being rescued. She knew that she was in safe hands. Investigators are still trying to determine a motive. Late last night at that news conference, Governor Kathy Hochul said the suspect had a car registered to a home that was two miles away from where the little girl lives. Jerika Duncan, CBS News, Latham, New York.